dudes, dudettes, and Doritos, welcome to my 4k subscriber special. At 3.5k I uploaded this video, a draw this in your style challenge. Now as y'all have been waiting for, here are the winners. It was so difficult to judge this, I got 82 total submissions and all were absolutely spectacular. I judged them with my parents and a few of my friends, and I did not think it would be so difficult. I ended up choosing 10, 7 honorable mentions, and 3 winners. The 3 winners will get prizes. I'll put the links in the description to their channels or socials once I get the proper time. Thank you all so much for 4k subscribers, and let's get started. The first honorable mention is this artwork by Eliodor Heliodoria. I saw this and my jaw immediately just dropped. The detail in this is so incredible, I could, I could never have the patience to draw in every single scale. This is just so impressive, thank you so much for joining. Next, we are transitioning to a much more simple style. This adorable artwork is from Blueberry Pancakes. I was so happy when I saw this. The style looks so soft and pleasing. This just seems like something I would see in a children's book. The sky behind is so dreamy and both characters just seem to be simply enjoying their life. Thank you so much for entering, this made me smile. If anyone here knows me at all, you know I love glitter. This next honorable mention is from Cloverleaf Knight. The characters work so well together, the blues of, Ge of Gemma and the oranges of your character look so nice. The artwork is also just so ethereal with the glowing skies and all the sparkles. Thank you so much for joining, this is fantastic. This next honorable mention is from Toshiko Time. I have seen this artist work many times before and it never ceases to amaze me. The intricate details and environmental design is just fabulous. Your character is so pretty, the calm beige and desaturated colors really pop from the deep blues and purples of Gemma. Thank you so much for entering, I love this artwork so much. Our third to last honorable mention comes from Zephyr. What I love most about this art style is the sharp details. Zephyr really knows how to accentuate the most important areas of the artwork. For example, Zephyr used the placement of the sun in Gemma's wings to highlight the their face and eyes, as well as using the shadow to draw equal attention to Gemma. This is really difficult to do and you did an amazing job. The composition is so well thought through, thank you so much for joining. Our penultimate honorable mention is this artwork by Zeneca. This artist has such a bold style, the pop art flair is enough to draw in anyone's attention. Zeneca does an exemplary job with line variety and implied detail. The line weight adds so much flow and interest as the implied detail fills in the gaps, making the artwork seem so full of detail. For example, these feathers. They look so realistic, but zoom in, now you, now you see is a few blobs of color. This is so impressive and it's so very well done. I really admire this artist's work. Thank you so much for entering. And now our last honorable mention before the winners comes from Slafnir. I don't want to butcher these names, I'm so sorry if I'm saying them wrong, um, but the, I'll put the name on screen so you can go subscribe to them. At the time I am recording this, this artist only has 7 subscribers. That is illegal. Go sub to them, please. Okay, thank you. After I watched the speed paint, I just froze. This is so gorgeous. The colors work so wonderfully together and both characters just look so alive. I really love the choice of using the cool colors of both the characters to contrast the golden hues of the grass. You did such an amazing job and I hope I get the privilege to see more of your art in the future. And now we will move on to the three winners. The third place winner who has won a portrait of their character is Kona. I saw this and I was flabbergasted. This style is so realistic and it just works so well. The colors are warm and poppy. I also really love the addition of dandelions. This just turned out so glorious. The sky and the lighting and overall atmosphere is just amazing. Great job, you definitely deserve your prize. Our second place winner gets a prize of both a portrait and a full body of their character. This artwork is way too good and I started crying when I saw this and the artwork is from Rainfeather. Oh my cheese and crackers, I don't know what to say. This is just too amazing. This is definitely not my new phone wallpaper, I promise. Sorry, I lied. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna spill. First, look at the flow. The lines, they are flowing and magnificent. Second, look at the expression. They are happy and it's just too wholesome. Third, beans. Fourth, look at the shading style. Like, what the heck, it's just too good. Fifth, look at the sky. The clouds are even happy. Sixth, <laughs> 
Thank you so much for joining. I love this way too much. Great job. Whew. Okay, I have calmed down a bit. Can we get a drum roll for our first place winner? And winner of a portrait, full body, and a drawing of their entry. Our winner of this entire challenge goes to... Maple Leaf Inc. When I saw this, I kind of just knew it was going to win. I'm going to keep my composure here. First, I would like to address the beans. The beans, just the beans. Second, the position. These head-on poses are very difficult to draw correctly, and with both characters, you are able to identify the bum, the torso, the chest area, the back legs, the front legs, beans, the neck, and the entire head. This is so easy to read, and I can tell exactly what is going on which is so difficult to accomplish. Third, Gemma's wings are perfect. The anatomy makes sense and it is so realistic. This is so impressive with such a stylized art style. Fourth, the lighting. The artwork is able to correctly show the direct light hitting the characters and the lively midtones and dark shadows, but that is not what I'm impressed with. I'm impressed with the overhead indirect lighting from the cool glow of the sky, the rim lighting, and the bounce light. These are very adva advanced lighting techniques and are done extremely well in this artwork. I also really love the environment. They kept it fairly simple, yet it looks so natural and realistic. This artist does an amazing job with implied detail, especially in the lighting. Overall, this artist did a fantastic job and I am blown away. I am so grateful for all the effort you have put into this piece. Well, there you go. I hope you maybe learned something from this. I sure did. I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that joined. I really appreciate your support. This community is so welcoming and I am very grateful to be a part of it. And at that, it would be great for the winners to send me a reference and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye